BTS's Jungkook breaks the internet. James Charles addresses more drama on his social media return. And Kylie Jenner finally breaks her silence on the Tristan and Jordan cheating scandal. All that and more on today's Clever Hollywood Rundown. What's up, guys? And welcome back to the Clever Hollywood Rundown. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. I'm Susan Morad. And we have so much to discuss. Um, there's just so much that happened this week. The tea was hot. Mm -hmm. And we're going to break it down for you right now with the biggest stories. Um, later on, we're going to talk about Olivia Jade. But first, we have to start with everything that happened in the beauty community this week. All right, guys. So last week was huge yes. in the beauty community between the James Charles versus Tati Westbrook versus Jeffree Star versus everyone else who wanted to insert themselves yeah. in that narrative. Uh, and it feels like it was so long ago, but it was only a week ago. Mm -hmm. And it was only on Monday that we reported that James did respond with his No More Lies video over the weekend. Um, we also had a response from Jeffree Star that we yeah. reported earlier this week who didn't really have much to say, which was kind of a shock because we thought he was going to have a lot to say. And of course, the James video was dripping with receipts. Um, but in that video, he did say he was taking a bit of time out and a bit of break, a break from social media and posting regular YouTube videos. But he seemed to have to defend himself some more, from some more drama this week because a lot of people thought his return to social media was too soon, apparently. So earlier this week, James posted this photo of him and sister Kylie Jenner to Instagram, as well as a bunch of Instagram stories supporting his fellow makeup mogul during the launch of her skincare line. And that's when many fans started to call BS on the whole social media detox thing. So in the comments, it was clear that the picture rubbed some fans the wrong way, forcing him to defend himself all over again due to his quick social media return. James took to Twitter to clarify his activities, saying, quote, I said I wouldn't be filming for a bit and I would pop in on my other socials. Point being to focus on living rather than forcing content. Healing for me consists of doing things that make me happy, such as playing with makeup and being social instead of laying in bed all day. He continued by saying, social media is a part of my life and I like keeping up with all of you and I know a lot of you like keeping up with me. Posting a few stories of me smiling doesn't mean I'm better or my break was for sympathy. It means I'm trying to move on with my life and better myself. But that's not all. James even responded to followers making jokes about Kylie supposedly unfollowing him during all of this drama. Responding to a user who wrote, but she unfollowed you, LOL. James clapped back saying, she never followed in the first place. LOL, stop believing everything you read on the internet. James also celebrated his 20th birthday this week and we saw via James's Instagram stories that he had a super cool low key celebration with friends and a birthday cake. But the real moment you guys was when James revealed a picture of his cake, which read, happy birthday, so famous with a caption that also read, too soon, Jesus Gomez, with two skull emojis. Uh, we also saw James out and about getting some R&R &R and a lot of love from fans by the beach via his Instagram stories, where a group sang him happy birthday. It was the cutest, you guys, and he was so shocked by the outpouring of love. He wrote, I'm gonna f lose it. I love you guys so much. And he even came across a young sister sporting his signature apparel. Okay, Emil, I've just got to say, I'm actually really happy to see James out and about, like, getting back to normal. And, like, last week would have been too much for anyone, yeah. you, I, for anyone to deal with. And I feel like him getting back to his life as usual, obviously he's not posting as many video well he hasn't posted any videos yet but the fact that he's posting to social media i think is great because everyone can see that he's doing okay like he's not a hundred percent like but, back on the men but i think it's cool to know how he's going at the same time i really don't care and when i say that it's not like a, a negative thing i don't care in terms of he doesn't have to give us an update with everything i feel like people just need to stop responding like it, we will be fine if he because every time you, you respond to the haters or respond to critics, like you're just giving more fuel to the fire. Yeah. And then anytime you do anything, they're gonna expect a response. It's like a constant cycle. And I kind of just, um, like he can do whatever he want, obviously it's his account. But for me, I think if I posted to social media and people started saying things, I wouldn't necessarily address them. I would just be like, I'm, I truly am living my life. And yes. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but I don't have to, I don't owe you anything, any yeah. information. And I think that will definitely die down. I think I, I, I would expect after like this week maybe, because maybe. I think he'll have to get to a point where he draws the line and says, I'm not gonna say enough this is anymore. enough. Enough is enough, you guys. All right, in other news, you know James was at Kylie's Kylie Skin. That is a tongue twister. Kylie's <laughs> Kylie Skin Kylie. launch party. It looked epic, by right? The way. It oh looked my God. incredible, and you know he walked in with Nikita Dragon and Gabriel Zamora. 
Um, but Kylie is um, in the news because of Jordan, and there's multiple things. So first of all, news broke this week, earlier this week, that Jordan Woods officially moved out of Kylie's house. Now, some of you may be like, she mm, yeah, ago, she moved yeah. out a long time ago, but she still had a few things there, and like people were kind of wondering when she was gonna get those last few things. <laughs> people were wondering. People, I was. <laughs> well, this is where things get a little juicy. So a source revealed to TMZ that Jordan actually moved out two weeks ago, but the reason it took so long is because Kylie was okay with her stuff chilling there, but somebody in the family wasn't, and TMZ said they couldn't reveal who that somebody was. I mean, I have some, some options, but uh, they called Kylie out on it, so Jordan finally came by, picked up her stuff, and now they can both move on with their lives. Um, they said that Kylie wasn't home when this happened, mm -hmm. um, and they also said that a housekeeper like let her in, but it's clear that Kylie has moved on because a source told people that Kylie has had a very time moving on from their friendship, but not being able to rely on Jordan's friendship has actually been great for Kylie. And it seems like they're both doing fine. Like obviously Kylie had her lunch party, she's bonding with other friends and moms, and meanwhile, Jordan is furnishing her new house in the hills, living her best damn life. She posted this photo to her Instagram with the caption, finally, my first piece of furniture arrived. Designing homes is such a task, but I'm having the best time doing it. What are some of your house hacks and favorite companies? So I'm glad she got all of her stuff out of the house. You know, I think that's necessary, especially if, I mean, it must not have been important stuff. Cause you know, you have like that stuff lingering. I'm just thinking if yeah. I leave any like items of clothing at any friend's home, I can't live without it, obviously. It's like, I need my jacket, I need my jeans. But she, I mean, I mean she's got so much So stuff. much money, she can just buy new stuff. That's it probably true. was like nothing over there. Not, um, not the regular people's right. problems, yeah. But I know we have all been wondering ever since the cheating scandal, like, obviously, what is the actual reaction, not just on social media, mm -hmm. from Chloe, from Kylie, like after this cheating scandal went down. Obviously, we've seen um, Jordan's response on Red Table Talk, and we've seen her like move on since then, right? Um, but there's now a Keeping Up With Kardashians teaser that shows exactly what we've been waiting for. So in the new promo, we finally see what went down in the Car Jenner household when the Jordan and Tristan cheating scandal broke, and more importantly, hear what Kylie had to say. But first, you hear Kris Jenner saying, quote, this is going to change their relationship forever. For you and Jordan, it's like a divorce. And in Kylie's words, she said she f up. I mean, we're not surprised. Like, what else would what else would the reaction be? I was so happy to hear the reaction because I've been dying to know yeah. what actually went on behind the scenes. And Kylie's been really grown up and mature in the media in terms of saying anything or yeah. giving anyone any insight as to what went on behind the scenes. But to see that she basically, in the moment, from what we've seen, said she f***ed up and she's sharing her love to Chloe and saying, I just want you to know I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, family comes first and yeah. you know, it seems like it's like that for the cameras and, and behind the scenes Which as well. Which has to be hard, cause like technically Jordan, even though she's not blood family, was like a family member to her. So, you know, we'll see how it all unfolds. Cause obviously that's just the first stage of the scandal. I want to see how they react to Red Table. I know, There's yeah. so much more I want to see. I know, see. I know. You guys, so we all know that BTS are pretty much amazing at everything. Mm -hmm. Amazing singers, amazing dancers, amazing performers. I mean, the list could go on. Oh, I thought, right. I thought okay, we were still going. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but this week, BTS, Jungkook in particular, broke the internet, you guys. But it's not for one of those skills that I just mentioned. Uh, it's because of his swimming. So in the video that already has 5 million views, we see Jungkook taking a dip into a pool, showing off his swimming skills. And as fans went wild over it, many started jokingly comparing Jungkook to legendary US Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps. The reactions were honestly so hilarious. One fan tweeted, Ladies and gentlemen, Jungkook Phelps with this pic edit. While another fan reacted to the video with this gif saying, we got Michael Phelps trending because of Jungkook's video, I Can't Breathe. This was hilarious, and yeah. I did. I saw it trending on Twitter, and I'm like, what? Michael Phelps is trending, and went to the hashtag and saw what everybody was going crazy about. And I don't know what it is. We were talking about this in the office yesterday. Yeah. When we see our favorite celebrities and artists doing regular things, yeah. it drives us crazy. No, we, totally. We were talking about imagine seeing Beyonce getting her nails done or doing the shopping. Like, it's not the same as seeing them perform in, in you know, on stage. It's like a completely different person we get to I see. I mean, you know, I can definitely relate to what he's going through. I remember when, you know, I was trending after, <laughs> you know, I was singing one time. They were oh. like, oh my gosh, Sean Mendez. And I was like, no, guys. You were trending? No, no, never. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> what? when did this happen? Never. <laughs> Maybe one day, though. Maybe one day.
All right, guys, so we have to talk about Olivia Jade. You remember that college admission scandal that like really threw how, us all for a loop? We, forget? we can't forget that. <laughs> well, apparently Olivia Jade wants to go back to school and specifically USC, which is confusing because people were slamming her when the controversy happened because she seemed like she was ungrateful for her schooling in general. And then multiple clips came out saying that she never really wanted to go to school. She hated school, all this different stuff. Granted, like who really loves school, but it was like just the content, I don't know. It was just, it was bad timing and like bad videos to have out there when this scandal, this particular scandal was going, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Moving on. So a source told Us Weekly that Olivia Jade wants to go back to USC. She didn't get officially kicked out and she is begging the school to let her back in. And then another source revealed she knows they won't let her in. So she's hoping this info gets out. She wants to come out looking like she's changed, learned life lessons and is growing as a person. So she for sure wants people to think she is interested in her education. Before I move on, first of all, that is so shady for this source. I was just listening to because, that going. Yeah, it's like basically you as a source is saying, okay, so I got this information from her and I'm supposed to let you know that she's doing this because she's trying to change her image. And I'm just like, I think we all learned from the first part of this whole drama. Yeah. Just tell the truth yeah. and stop lying. And if you don't want to go to school, don't go to school. And like this and is just, if this is true. Yeah. It's really wrong on many levels. I get that from a legal perspective, there's probably multiple people, um, you know, saying what she can and can't say herself. True. Because I was going to say, if she has her own successful YouTube channel, which I'm sure she still has her followers and fans, despite the scandal, she has her um, YouTube, she has her Instagram, like, i rather hear this coming from her. Exactly. Genuine, heartfelt message saying why she wants to go back as opposed to this. But anyway, um, if you don't remember, USC released a statement shortly after the scandal saying that USC has placed holds on the accounts of students who may be associated with the alleged admission scheme. Among many factors investigators could consider in reviewing each case are any developments in the criminal cases, including plea deals by parents. Following these case-by-case -case reviews, we will take the proper action related to each student's status up to revoking admission or expulsion. Now, as far as other family news, um, her parents actually turned down a plea deal and they pleaded not guilty, which some people are like, what is going yeah. on? So that's still developing. But also, Us Weekly uh, broke an exclusive on her sister, Bella, mm -hmm. who broke up with her boyfriend, Nick Pinsky, and it looks like that's uh, because of the college admission scandal. Olivia recently broke up with her boyfriend. Looks like because of the college admission scandal. So it's just really blowing everything up in the family. But is, any, is anyone actually going to go to school after all of this? I mean, that's that's what I'm wondering. School is for fools. Look at me. <laughs> all right, guys, that's a wrap on this episode of the Clever Hollywood Rundown. Get excited because we have a lot of fun stuff coming next week, hopefully. Yes, um, stay, so tuned. stay tuned. Yeah, uh, but I have to know, what do you think about this whole Kylie Jordan Wood situation? Now that she's officially moved out and like there's no reason to go back to the house, do you think that they'll ever really be friends again or are they done forever? Mm, and also I wanna know, what are your thoughts on James Charles' return to social media so soon or is it not too soon? I mean, everyone has a different opinion. Yeah. Everyone shares what's going on in their life differently. Like, what are your thoughts on this? And also, are you happy to see Charles, James Charles just like getting on with life? It's like Charles. Charlie Charles, bit Charlie, me. Charlie, Charlie bit, Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> oh my God, I've got it in like, I can almost do the right accent. You as can well. do the yeah. right accent. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, bye. All right, guys, click right here to find out more on Miley Cyrus bringing back Hannah Montana for Black Mirror season five. Oh boy, and also make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss a single update. Oh, and follow us. You can follow yes. me at Emil Ennis Jr. And me at Susan underscore Morad. And also make sure you subscribe. I think we already said that, mm -hmm. but like subscribe, subscribe, like our video, share it with our friends, your friends. Um, we'll see you here next week. Bye.